If you've seen the deleted scenes videos I did of some Animaniacs uh, clips, uh, particularly the broadcast nuisance one, you'll notice that some of the scenes were not actually deleted, but they were changed. The dialogue was changed. Now, what happens is that they record, well, they past tense, they recorded the dialogue first, and then, they, then uh, a track reader notes down all the actions that on a timesheet and then the animators have to draw to match the movements and this is what makes American style cartoons so much more fluid and, and dynamic in the way they act but then they go back in to a session that's called ADR automated dialogue replacement and they'll fix any timing issues by just re-recording dialogue or they sometimes will change the lines and this is what happened in these deleted scenes videos uh, if you've seen the broadcast nuisance uh, deleted scenes, you'll recall one scene that was it was in the episode that aired and the episode that's on the DVDs, but the dialogue was changed. Have a look. And watch the mouth movements and you'll notice the mouth movements don't actually match up to what you hear here. We interrupt News Time Live to bring you this special report. Our topic, why people don't tip. For the answer, we turn to William F. Yackley. I think uh, the reason uh, people do not affix a compensation for service, in layman's terms a tip, is that they are in fact extremely cheap. Would you say TV newsmen are extremely cheap? No, except of course for Mr. Dan Anchorman. So did you notice how some of the, the mouths were in the wrong shape for the sounds that they were making? So here is, which you, if you've seen the other video you've already seen this, but here is what the original dialogue was that this animation was made for. We interrupt News Time Live to bring you this special report. Is Slam Fondlesome a big fat dope? For the answer, we turn to William F. Yackley. Uh, what I wish to express is that uh, he is uh, ipso facto, a grandly rotunda ipso dope so, in layman's terms, a big fat dope. But would you say that he's a big fat ugly dope? No, I would say that he's a, a big fat stinky dog. So what I wanted to do was present a couple other examples. Um, however, I don't have the original audio recordings of these examples, but I but I have the original scripts. So uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to act out the original lines myself, uh, so you can at least get an, an an idea of how these scenes were supposed to go. Uh, the first one is fairly well known, I think, uh, and that is uh, in the middle of the ice cream song in Tocahontas by Earl Kress. Uh, what you see in the episode and what you hear is this. P pay close attention, again, to, to the mouth movements and to the reaction of the, of the John Smith character. There's no song like this in the movie. I know, but we got hungry. Double dip for me, strawberry. However, what the animation was drawn for, the original lines, were this. And again, this is me doing the voices, but th these are the lines that the animation was actually drawn for. These are the lines that were originally recorded. There's no song like this in the movie. I know. This song is good. Point well taken. Carry on. Obviously, they wanted to change that because they didn't want to be uh, too uh, nasty. And uh, so the other example I want to give you is one that's very dear to my heart because it includes a line that I wrote. Uh, and I'll, I'll explain how that happened later on. This was in the, the Pinky and the Brain episode, You Said a Mouthful. And it was the, uh, the Are You Pondering What I'm Pondering line. This one, they matched up pretty good. The, the, new, the new dialogue uh, matches up the animation pretty well. The one thing that really gives it away is Brain's mouth movements at the very end of, of his line. And also the, the body language. You watch the way Pinky's putting a comforting hand on Brain's shoulder. Uh, he, Brain seems a little disheartened by what Pinky has to say. So here is what the final episode uh, had for that scene. Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? I think so, Brain. But then my name would be Thummy. In a perfect world, your name would be Dummy. So did you notice Brain's mouth didn't quite move? Here, are, here was the original line. I wrote Pinky's line for this gag, and Gordon Bresak, the writer of the cartoon, wrote Brain's response. This is the original line that this animation was drawn to, and I would dearly love to hear the original recording if anybody has it. Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? I think so, Brain, but she'll never leave Mickey. 
I thought we agreed never to discuss that. So there you have it. Um, so the question is, how did, how did a line that I wrote end up, end up in the episode? Well, uh, as you may know or may not know, um, I was quite well known uh, back in those days. And, and uh, I'd come up with a line long, long, a long time ago before I told it to Gordon. And, uh, I, you know, I wouldn't come out and give a line to a writer like that. I mean, that, that's very fanboyish. I, I wouldn't do anything like that. Uh, we, were, we, we were talking about things that were going on at Warner Brothers at the time. Peter Hastings had just left and Gordon was story editing the show. And uh, he wrote something I don't even remember now. But it was, you know, suggesting something and then added, are you pondering what I'm pondering? And so I replied, I started my next email with, I think so, Brain, but she'll never leave Mickey. And, uh, and uh, he said, oh, I love the pondering, I might steal it. And so I said, you know, yeah, you're quite, quite welcome to, and I gave him permission to use it. And, uh, but the, and so it got recorded, you know, it, it, he sent me the script of the episode, there, it's right in there. And, uh, and it got animated. And, but they changed it in the ADR session and the reason they did that is because they were afraid that word got out that they used a line from a fan that a whole bunch of fans would send in a whole bunch of submissions and, and they wouldn't be able to read them you know, legally but they would be also be afraid that they might end up using something that was similar to something that somebody submitted and then they could run into legal problems with people thinking, oh you're stealing my line, I want compensation rah, rah. and uh, so they had to decide to change the line, so unfortunately uh, my gag didn't quite make it, but uh, I thought it was a good gag, don't you?